Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over repeater jamming in the LFO. Uh, and how you jam in Nerve is you use your keyboard, and each octave kind of does its own thing. So, first, I want to show you the repeater. So, if we play a sound and we click the repeater here, what it does is it kind of glitches things out and makes it sound kind of cool. Right? And that correlates to on well, my push in this case. But on uh, any kind of MIDI keyboard, you can uh, trigger the repeaters down here without even touching anything, except you know, your MIDI keyboard. Right, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, if you look into your manual and you can set up, just I recommend uh, putting stickers on your MIDI keyboard, and you can see or like. Uh, masking tape and writing down you can fill up your entire keyboard with like performance in mind for nerve if that's your thing so uh, you can use it to switch between programs right so you can do crazy stuff like this right not perfect but you know you can record the MIDI in and do more fine refinements you know I'm not an expert in uh, glitchiness but you know I can kind of fake my way through it uh, all right so I'm gonna talk about the LFO and you know how okay I got a cat here come on come on there um, cat. Uh, so basically you know we have uh, say our filter cut off here we can do stuff like that Right, we can, you know, have it set so it's uh, stepped, right? But say if we don't want that, say if we want like a slow kind of change over time, that would be more ideal. So there's an LFO section down here, and it's kind of like LFO tool, which we'll get into, which is also a, a pretty cool plugin. Uh, there's a few modes, so you have dotted, uh, triplet, beat. So this is all synced. Uh, options here from like 16 bars to fast whatever that is very fast super fast um, maybe in like the 5 what would that be 512 yeah maybe 512 cycles per second so you have it in the frequency range and as you drag this down wait you go free yeah so free is basically a uh, free running oscillator free running LFO right so this is what I prefer uh, you, and uh, you can have it synced or free. Enough of that. All right, so we can have it synced to multiple things. Uh, the cutoff. All right, for this example, we'll go beat. So have it every, not bot, dotted bar every bar right so we have that we can have it uh, also faster we can just the pulse width so this is basically just like LFO tool really but it's built in a nerve which is really cool and you can get some like neat kind of evolving sounds with pan pitch we can adjust this shape so there's ramp uh, and we can also re-trigger it so every time a, a clip, or not a clip, a velocity stock, or like a, a bit is activated, the LFO re-triggers, so we can get somewhat of a, a pseudo uh, envelope going on. Right, might have to have that 18 eighths. Right, that little line is correlating. I don't know if you can see that. It's going pretty fast, but it's correlating. Uh, where it is on the duty cycle of the LFO. All right. We can do also, so say if we wanted to step the cutoff, which we'll do, and that's all well and good. But say if we wanted to kind of have the resonance changing over time, well, we can do that. So we'll have that every every four bars. It'll do, it'll do a cycle. We can have it. Uh, unipolar or positive. We 
we can also modulate the start and stop time so we can get some really interesting effects that way. All right, so what that's doing, as far as I know, is switching the start and stop time of these particular samples so it'll offset it here or there and you can get some really interesting evolving patterns that just evolve you can have them evolve slowly over time uh, 16 bars or you know like that um, also level and you can do a lot of neat things uh, you don't have to do this with loops you can do this with one shots as well uh, and yeah that is uh, the LFO repeater jamming and kind of keyboard shortcut um, introduction all right, we'll be back with some more cool stuff. Uh, take care.